Welcome to the Heart of the Nation, where history meets innovation. I'm Dwayne Jones, and I'm thrilled to host Deep Dive with Causes as we explore the University of the District of Columbia's College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability, and Environmental Sciences, Causes. Recently, UDC TV's general manager, Ed Jones, shared his story of how interacting with and learning from causes impacted his life. This was during a professional development event for faculty and staff. Ed has been a dedicated employee at UDC for over 28 years. His story clearly displays the impact of causes. Some of you already know me from my work on the Causes cable TV series. But for those of you who do not, and those who are wondering why Dean Jones has me on your agenda today, this is my Causes story. For the past 28 years, I have served as general manager and executive producer of UDC Cable Television. Along with my colleagues, Cheryl Hawkins and Dan Eikenberry, we have had the privilege of creating video content to bring the stories of the University of the District of Columbia into approximately 187,000 cable households in the district. Thanks to internet technology, we have been able to extend our reach to adult learners worldwide on the YouTube platform. My story with Causes began 12 years ago through a chance meeting of Dr. O'Hara, who had just been named to the position of Dean of Causes. She had stopped by the studio after encountering a Tuskegee Airman on his way there for an appearance on UDC Forum. As a welcoming face into the university, we utilized college deans and faculty members to host our local productions. So Dr. O'Hara did not hesitate to fully embrace the concept to help bring the story of causes to a wider audience. As we produce more and more causes content over the years, I spent many hours editing and listening to the interviews, lectures, and making visits to the UDC farm. At some point, my journalistic instincts kicked in and I asked myself two questions. Does this stuff really work? Can it really make a difference in the quality of life of an individual? So in the spring of 2013, I started my first effort to grow fresh vegetables using the information I learned while editing Causes interviews. By summer of 2013, I had my first garden and I was hooked. My personal engagement with the Causes staff and easy access to hours of reliable information enabled me to apply and test the information in the context of my environment. My experience and the encouragement of the staff whenever I shared updates resulted in a greater awareness of my relationship and responsibility to our environment. In the middle of the COVID-19 surge, I was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer, requiring aggressive chemo treatments that destroyed my immune system. So if the cancer did not kill me, I was at a very high risk COVID might. A big part of winning the daily physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual battle was my heightened awareness of the direct relationship between my health and the food I put in my body, failed to provide my body, and the sources of the food I purchased. Shortly after the chemo treatments, I returned to my gardening and composting stations to heal while expanding my raised bed gardens. I looked forward to harvesting the fresh greens for smoothies and kale chips, sweet peppers and tomatoes for salads, eggplant and fresh ginger to spice up my drinks because chemo had robbed me of both taste and smell. As a direct involvement with causes, I committed to expand my environmental stewardship. This year, my wife, Maureen, and I founded a nonprofit fund in partnership with the Outer Banks Community Foundation in North Carolina 
to support arts and media projects designed to educate the public on the importance of preserving the beauty and environmental integrity of the Outer Banks. We funded our first project last November, the Outer Banks Environmental Film Festival. So I think that I'm joining you today as a reminder of the impact your research, your teaching, your community engagement has in the lives of students and residents. Like me, they are sources of transformational stories that make the case for expanded resources, greater community participation, and higher enrollment in your academic programs. Causes is a powerful story to be told. So I challenge you, capture it, package it, distribute it, create conversation about it. Then repeat the cycle until the brand of the nation's capital is a healthy, sustainable city full of healthy people. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed Ed Jones' story. This year, we're excited to celebrate over a decade of causes impacts with our theme, Telling Your Causes Story. Each story is a testament to the power of education, the strength of community, and the impact we can make together. These stories will complement the news and updates you have come to expect from the Deep Dive series. If you are interested in telling your causes story, please feel free to email us at causesmarketing at udc.edu. To learn more about degree programs, workshops, and training sessions through causes, visit us on the web at udc.edu slash causes.